let's take a moment and talk about this so-called green energy thing that Canada's pushing and the wind turbine factor that they're factoring into this. This this is a this is a dirty energy. This is not clean energy. Let's just have a look at what Canada thinks it is and then let's talk about what it really is. Let's go onto the Canada website. Let's have a look. Let's open our eyes and just really delve deep into this and let's understand how bad this is going to be for Canada and the world. So it looks like the federal government have invested in 12 new wind, solar and smart grid projects with Alberta Indigenous and Industrial Partners. The government of Canada is helping to bring affordable, reliable, clean energy to communities in every region of Canada. This is why the federal government is investing in job creating clean energy projects across the country and working with indigenous partners to get projects built. Alberta's immense potential for clean energy development combined with the expertise of workers and the ambitious planning of indigenous and community partners is creating great economic opportunities in the province. Blades have reached their usable life. They're made 100% out of fiberglass and they have some other internal components, but mainly fiberglass. And there's no real uh, process or mechanism to recycle these blades. I don't believe they're even saying this. Today, the Honourable John Wilkinson, Canada's Minister of Energy and Natural Resources, announced over $175 million in federal federal tax money investments for 12 Alberta-based clean energy projects that will create thousands of jobs and enable local economic growth. And while delivering clean, clean, what? Affordable energy to communities. Let's have a look at that in a moment. Once fully implemented, these projects will reduce emissions equivalent to taking nearly 325,000 gas-powered cars off the road every year, resulting in cleaner air and healthier communities. But there, there's, there's a price to pay for this, guys. The following projects will create good jobs and economic opportunities in First Nations communities and provide clean power for years to come. No, that's a lie. A hundred percent. This is a lie. So Brian, a trucker friend of ours from Alberta, sent me a video absolutely dismissing the fact that these wind turbines that are being put up all over are actually bad for the environment. The actual blades themselves are only valued, their only valued use is two years until they are then scrapped and taken to junkyards and put in these yards and pushed out, pushed out of the mind's eye where they create more fiberglass resin blades to replace them. These are all um, expired blades that have reached their usable life. As you can see, these blades have been stored and not been recycled. The blades behind the guy are just cut up, stacked up. They're actually cut into pieces so they can be stacked in this way to save space and not recycled. Not only are they wastage, they're also, they also damage uh, wildlife, bird life, and when they put these things out in the sea, it wrecks sea life. So, but as you know, we can't see sea life. So that doesn't really matter, does it? That's just fishing. That's stuff underwater that we can't see. But it does wreck the fishing industry. And they are looking for compensation for the wind farms that have already been put out there through Quebec. scrappage and the storage of these wind farm blades that they just they just can't put anywhere they can't seem to do anything with them they don't look like they're going to be able to recycle them what 
what are they going to do with him? Like, this is just a complete... The, the fact that Canada is going to spend $175 million on this just boggles the mind. It's already proven that, the, that they are not better for the environment. They're, they are wasteful, very wasteful, very costly. This is not the way forwards for electricity. And you've got places, well, you've got people like Trudeau and Gilbo pushing Alberta to go all electric and the rest of Canada. And they want to use these wind turbines to do, to, to push that narrative. This is absolutely, this boggles the mind. We need to wake up Canada and see that this is not the way forwards for electricity. 100% not the way forwards. Till next time.